Today in Ed, we are going to go over how to add more layers to Ed and how to use the controls for those. So you can find more layers over here on the bottom left, and if you select this button, it will open up a layer tree dialog down here where you can come in here and search for a layer by name. So for instance, if I'm looking for precipitation layers, you can type in there and it'll filter out anything that has to do with precipitation and display those. So 41 out of the 293 layers available in here are related to precipitation in some way, shape, or form. So for instance, uh, an easy way to add one is just to click on the uh, particular item of interest and it'll display over here in the window. It will also add that same um, uh, field to the legend. And if you want to control the opacity, for instance, you're down here and you want to either see it a little more opaque, you can come up here and move the opacity to the right and it'll make it more opaque, or to the left and it'll make it more transparent. Now this opacity button right here uh, deals with whatever is selected down here. So if I was down here and I had my three month um, or say maybe six to ten day precipitation selected and I move the opacity to the right, it's going to be selecting operating on the layer that is selected. So drought isn't going to be changed but precipitation will be. So that's the way that that works. Now in Ed, there's a few uh, layers that are kind of uh, special, such as the boundaries. Um, in here, there are some that are very special, such as the uh, U.S. states boundaries. So if you have this one selected, and I believe in the next version of Ed, I'm going to actually label these as interactives, so, they're, so it lets you know um, which ones are actually editable, but when it is selected, you get options up here for the line width, uh, the color of the line, um, the font size, and so on and so forth. So for instance, in this case, let's make our line width really big, just for clarification. Um, and you can also see that it's black, but let's make it, um, let's actually open a color selector down here. And you can choose any color you wish. So let's make it uh, green today. When you select that green color, you can hit OK. And there's that layer in green. And you can notice that on the map here, there's actually uh, duplicates for the, uh, the name of the states. And that's controlled by the font size here. So if you make it 20, you're going to have really large state names. And this might be OK if you have a different background map, such as the blink, where there's really nothing shown. Or you may not want that at all. In that case, you can set that to zero, and it'll just show the uh, state border outlines. Now, um, the other neat thing is the uh, counties and names layer is the same way. So on here, you can control the, uh, let's start with the width and move that down to three. And let's change that color to red. And let's change the font size to, say, 10. And you can see it tries to plot the ones that it can fit in the map view, but if you zoom in, you'll actually get all the different counties available. So, uh, and again, the opacity, as long as you have the layer selected, you can change the opacity of that layer. If you move it all the way to the right, it's very opaque, and all the way to the left, it's very transparent. So those are two that uh, you can change. And the final one that's special is the NWS office boundaries. So on this guy, um, we'll make that one really bright blue, and we'll make the line thickness 9, and we'll change the color back to the blue. So those are the different um, NWS offices around the country here in blue. And say you don't want the line thickness quite that big, you can, of course, change it. And so depending on which one you have selected, if you have, let's turn the, uh, the counties either off by selecting this again, or you can turn them back on and then change opacity to make them a lot less um, opaque. So there you have it. Those, that's a quick way to play with the layers and also a couple of the special layers that are found under boundaries that you can actually have control over what they look like. And again, these are all base layers, so you can still lay um, things such as radar on top of them and or anything that you wish, such as hazards. So that's a quick overview of the layer tree. Hope that helps.